We are trimming the bedroom today. Good morning. It is cold and wet and nasty. We're gonna start our day out as always. Feeding the animals, Stainer first. When we were down at our parents, Stainer started to eat a lot of grass, which is awesome. And so uh, we started only feeding him three times a day. And then now we kind of are doing twice a day. So we do it in the morning and then we do it in the evening and just let him graze all day. So let's go feed him. are growing in. Everybody waiting for breakfast. Just waiting. They know it's coming. They're ready. Well, almost had a chicken to scratch, so I'm gonna have to throw it by hand. Today. The dog's gonna eat it all. Let's see if this works out. Probably not. Mm. And goat feed. Normally we feed them in the barn, but it's not bad for them to get out there and search for it and stuff. It's always good. So let them get their exercise in because it's a it's gonna be kind of rainy and gross, so I want them moving around while they can. chicken eggs today which is surprising it being so cold but super glad that we got some we have a ton of duck eggs we're just leaving them out there and usually um, our one of our black females she'll sit on the duck eggs and hatch them out so we're just waiting to see if she's gonna sit on them before we decide what we're gonna do with those one of our awesome subscribers sent me a message on Instagram and said that she wanted to send us something special and we got it. It came while we were out of town, but I wanted to open it with you guys to see what it is. Are you ready for this? It's llama salt and pepper shakers. She saw our video um, while we were at Walmart and I said I wanted the salt and pepper llama shaker. <laughs> The llama salt and pepper shakers and she said she found these on Amazon and she just had to buy it for us. So thank you so much. Uh, her name is Sam Robles and we so much appreciate this. I can't wait to put some salt and pepper in these bad boys and use them. Maybe we could do a cooking video with my little helpers. What do you guys think? Any suggestions? The baby chicks have been doing great. We have them inside. They have a heat lamp. Um, we had them outside as you know the weather was super nice outside and it was pretty warm um, once we knew that the cold front was coming in we had jared take them inside and they're doing awesome but they are growing fast so now they're starting to jump up on here so we're gonna try and probably just put like a net over this so they can't jump out and then we'll definitely have to once the weather starts warming up which hopefully will be very soon we have a kind of like a chicken tractor outside a big one that we're going to put them in um, possibly we haven't totally decided on that yet so we'll see but I just wanted to give you an update on the chicks they are doing amazing check them out they're doing great they're super cute we're really excited to figure out you know what sex they are but we don't know how to sex them we don't really plan on trying to we'll just wait and see So we have never eaten pickled eggs before. So we boiled some eggs. We threw them as pickle juice yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. So they've been in there a day. I've never tried this before. Super curious. They look like Easter eggs. So I'm gonna try one real quick. They smell like pickles big time.
Not a fan. Just a little pickly. They taste kind of, or like, rubbery. It's more a little than sour. they were. Here, try Not a, really in it. Try a sour dude to get the flavor out of your mouth. I'd rather eat sour candy. Give me one. That's more like it, folks. So as a lot of you guys know, we planted some rye grass on the other side of the barn. And this is where they've been eating. There's still plenty of grass, but we want to see what they think about the new grass. So let's see what happens. Wrong place, buddy. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Never mind the board on the goat's head. So I only feed him twice a day with the bottle. Sarah looks cold. He's shaking with excitement. Look at him, they don't even know where to stop eating. <laughs> Nothing better than shaking. You just leave him in here for a while. So we just got back from Home Depot. Uh, pretty chilly outside, I'd say it's in the mid 30s right now. Uh, we picked up some extra wood. We're gonna start trimming up my bedroom and my bathroom. Uh, we're working out here underneath the back patio and I'm using all the scrap wood you can see here. Just using it to burn and keep us warm while we're out here working. And hopefully it doesn't start raining anymore. It started raining earlier. We're hoping to get this project finally finished this weekend. Uh, if not today, uh, I know in our other videos we keep saying, oh, we're going to finish up the room and here we are weeks later. That's just a part of life. We're not, uh, we're not robots. Stuff happens. Our uh, equipment don't work. Equipment quits working. Uh, Jason's over here pouting because the uh, belt sander quit working, so now he's going to have to use a little hand sander. But I guess it's better than just using sandpaper and sanding it down yourself. So we just got back from Home Depot. We bought trim for Jared's bedroom and his bathroom. We are hoping to get both of those rooms completely finished this weekend. And let's see what we've got done so far. Yeah, give me that thing. You want to do your side first and then I'll do mine? Just do I'll just one side time, I guess. So we're going to work on <coughs> this side now, but we have to take this headboard thing that Jared built off so he can paint behind it and finish this wall once and for all. Go. So you're wondering, what the hell is that guy doing? Yes, I'm spray painting my walls. You'll see when it's done, I am spray painting all the cracks. We made our faux shiplap. We're gonna go back, paint over everything. When we finish, you're gonna see a nice black crease through here or a, a dark gray crease. It's gonna look too many nice. We also have a video for that. We'll leave it down in the description if Jaylena remembers to put this when she's adding it. Well, when it after I cut. So a lot of you know that if you watch our videos, you could tell we put a new blade on the saw. Finally, people. I can't tell you how glad I am. That would have taken us like 10 minutes to cut and it would have been all smoking. We got a new blade. We are rocking, people. Right, Riley? Yeah, buddy. This is Riley. He's awesome. We've had him. I got him seven years ago. Right, bud? Yeah. He's from the dog place I used to work at. So this board was just a hair off, so I'm just going to cut it a little more and hopefully it'll fit perfectly. Alright. Man, the room looks 
so much bigger now with the trim on it. Got the trim all the way around. Now we need to uh, silicone it's a little less cock some spots. It's a little uh, less horny in this room. Just need to fill in some of the gaps and then paint it. Actually, we got to do uh, the side. corner trims now. Son of a... And that should put the... One of our roosters got out. I don't really want to have to try and catch him. Hopefully he'll go back in there by himself. He knows he's not supposed to be out. He usually doesn't, you know, get out, but... Why don't you just open the gate and he'll go in there? Hey! <laughs> just open the gate. Oh, we got other animals. Come on, Rooster, you know where to go. Keep on, make sure. <laughs> You're gonna lose him. Keep on, keep on. <laughs> So we just finished the trim, as you can tell, if you do a quick look around. That's probably too fast, you're probably sick now. But we're going to get some silicone cock stuff and do all the little imperfections and joints and stuff like that. Then we're going to paint it and we are going to be done with this room once and for all. Look how tall the ceiling is. I am six foot seven. And I'm reaching up. I'm actually five foot eight. But anyways, it's still that tall. It's crazy. She's not even filming right now. She's filming Jason. But we we're gonna call it a day after I do some silicone because one of our friends asked us to go hang out. So we're gonna do that because we don't get to hang out a lot. So tomorrow we're gonna knock out the bathroom, hopefully finish it once and for all, be done with it. So thank you guys, thanks for watching. All as always. Social media down below. Follow us on that in the description. And subscribe. We love you guys. And hit the notification bell. Bell? Okay. What's the notification bell? So they know when we post videos. Oh. There you go, guys, in case you're like Jared and didn't know. Jared, in the video. I love you guys with all my heart, my soul, and my mind. I love that you guys follow us. I love that you guys comment on everything, even if it's good or bad. We love to see you guys. They want to see your shirt. What oh. is your shirt? This is my mood for today. It says, Vert Defert. And I got this from one of the girls at work. She uh, knew I was having a Ooh. bad day. She's married. Ooh. <laughs> Shout out to you, Jill. Oh, oh Jill. Hey. <laughs> Oh, hey, Jill! <laughs> Shout out to Jill from work for giving me the Vert to Vert shirt. Vert to Vert shirt. You try saying that out loud. I know once I say it, you're going to say it out loud. But, uh, yeah, that's my feeling today, Vert to Vert. I just wanted to point out that Jared does not have a heart, a soul, or a mind. <laughs>